CGI guys, my name is Jan Wai and welcome to this Blender tutorial where we're today gonna make your own textures and normal maps fully into Blender. So, let's go. So, before we're gonna open up Blender, I have to address something. Important is, is when you shoot your textures, there can be shadows or highlights in your, in your picture, in your texture. Because that will ruin everything. It will ruin up the displacement, it will ruin up the uh, normal map. So, what I did is I combined two pictures into one HDR, like this one. So, as you can see, there's no highlights or shadows around. So to import our texture, we're gonna use a little add-on that has been called Images as Planes. You can enable it under User Preference. So Images as Planes, and it's really handy because the size of your plane will be the same as your te as your texture as your image. So that's really awesome. Um, look at that. That's nice. Okay, um, we're gonna go to Edit Mode. Oh, select it, Edit Mode and scale it up. I'm gonna enable screen cut so you can see what I'm doing right here. Okay, then we're gonna press Ctrl R to make a slice in the middle and then right mouse button to perfectly set it to the middle. Okay, nice. Then we're gonna press A twice and say subdivide and do this a lot of time as you can see. Nice. And we're gonna go back to object mode. Okay, Let's give this guy a displacement. So I corrected the UVs really quickly so I can truly see this is indeed seamless. So uh, we're going to do some displacement. And to do that we go to the modifier tab and say displace. Then we press new. Make sure this is on UV. And I'm going to set the strength already to 0.3. Okay. Then we go to the texture panel, it's already on displacement, and we're going to open up, oh, I'm sorry, or texture, okay, noise. Then we're going to set the contrast some higher, just to get that detail, and I want to see this in solid, okay, that is not that bad at all. I'm going back to the modifier tab, and I'm going to give this a subdiversion for surface. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to set that in front of the displacement. And as you can see, this is already pretty nice. The pattern looks really nice right here. But, as you can see, this is not high enough. It's all, this is too flat. This is just too flat. So, we're going to help it a little bit out. How are we going to do that? Well, I'm going to tell you. We go to Sculpt. So we're going to sculpt it to make it even more realistic. I'm going to um, unsee the uh, displacement. I'm going to go to the material. And I go to the Sculpt mode. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And then we're just going to... Oh, I'm going to set this really quick off. So we don't have... Uh, symmetry and I'm just gonna sculpt this until I'm happy how it looks so I've gone ahead and sculpt our little texture plane right here I'm going back to object mode and as you can see I sculpted it quite well I think that is really nice I also did those lines right here. And let's enable our displacement again. Okay. I think that is really good. I think that is really good. So, let's go and make a normal map out of this. First of all, you need to apply all your modifiers. Then go to the Render tab, and right here you find Bake. Okay. Then you set this to normal and make sure this is on object. Okay. Then you're gonna open up a UV 
a UV image editor and create a new. Okay. Then we say uh, bake. And as you can see, it is a normal map of your own texture. Uh, this was the tutorial from this week. I hope to see you in the tutorial of next week.